why we age and what are the fundamental mechanisms driving aging has been the main research focus in my lab. I'm a professor of genetics and chairman at the Department of Biology at the University of Crete and affiliated group leader at the Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology at Forth. My lab works on DNA damage and aging, and we are working on mouse models that actually have DNA repair defects, and as a consequence, they age in an accelerated manner. We are also in charge of coordinating two European initial training and research network grants, HealthAge and Address. HealthAge focuses on aging research, and Address tries to understand how cells respond to DNA damage and maintain their gene integrity. ERC grants have played a catalytic role in the development of the lab. We've managed to expand our research in fields including immunity, inflammation, transcription, metabolism, development. Also to collaborate with pioneers in the field of aging, chromatin biology and mammalian physiology. The lab is the people. And the people are mainly young scientists involving postdocs, PhD students, master students, and technicians. Postdocs will guide typically the PhD students, and the PhD students will actually teach much of what they know for the master students, creating a bottom up approach on how research and training is transferred in the lab. I have been actually very happy to see that some of the postdoctoral scientists are actually now trying to make their own first independent moves in their own careers. They bring their own grants, they bring their own funds, and they try actually to design their own research path. The level of excellence that George has set for his lab has made the environment really demanding and challenging, but being part of the team gives me the satisfaction of working with excellent researchers and brilliant minds. The IMBB has provided state-of-the-art animal facilities, DNA sequencing facilities, mass spectrometry facilities, and all kinds of infrastructure that we actually need that goes well and beyond what a lab can afford on its own. The last 10 years, Greece has suffered from massive brain drain. So if there is anything that is needed today, is to attract talented and ambitious human capital, especially in places like this one, where novelty and creativity are so essential for our daily research activities. For the future, we do hope that we'll be able to bring some of the fundamental science we do in the lab and translate it into more therapeutic approaches that will be relevant for a number of age-related diseases, especially for patients and the clinic.